dinner! Aliens don't want to eat us. Aliens? They want to harvest our organs and enslave us in their minds. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Better run! Here's your master! Talk! There's no space. Like home. Open wide, or the big bad monster will get ya! Planet 51. John Cleese and Sean William Scott will lend a hand, a uh, mouth, to Planet 51, which opens on November 20th. But right now, let's get back to our survey with this week's number five hit, Couples Retreat. The adult comedy's childish pranks have continued to produce earnings at a rate very close to Vince Vaughn's equally vilified Four Christmases. However, the negative response here could have been due to jealousy of Vince's ability to purposely co authorist that would allow him to travel to Bora Bora free of charge with his friends. He even named the character played by Jason Bateman, Jason, although the over-the-top physically suggested display from Carlos Ponce were the Latin crooner's own designs, seemingly leftover gags from his prior work in Just My Luck and Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. Well, yeah, that's good. That's good. Very nice posture. Yes. Encouragement. So I will transfer you my energy. I will transfer my karma. Here is my karma on... Jason! You have a great aura. Yes. Jason! Encouragement! Yes! This is a great way to stretch. Yeah. You see? You could do this with your partner at sure. home. Let's ride this energy out. Yeah. Yes, this fire has just started, and we will not put it out. What is, what is he doing? I don't, I don't really know that pose. Darby has agreed to testify against Ames. Down two after last week's opening salvo delivered a gross larger than the interrun of Gerard Butler's prior effort, Gamer, law-abiding citizen has now surpassed the overall earnings of The Soloist, the last release from Jamie Foxx, whose presence is also responsible for changing his co-star from grief-stricken widower to ruthless vigilante in a heartbeat. It's okay, because I saw, I saw their faces. I, I saw them do it. I mean, <laughs> kill my little girl, man. You blacked out, Clyde. Your testimony won't be reliable. You get on the stand, and the defense will tell you apart. Nick, but they're both of them are guilty, especially Darby. You know that. It's not what you know, Clyde. It's what you can prove in court. This is our family. I hope you can see how excited they are to have a king. Sometimes they have an odd way of showing it. I mean, they act weird, you know, and uh, can hurt other people's feelings. Last week's biggest hit suffers a modest dip to number three, where the wild things are. The fervent desire of director Spike Jones to avoid giving a computer-generated artifice to his ambitious adaptation of Maurice Sendak's classic children.